Many health challenges on the farm can be avoided with a proper herd health management program. During the third session of the 2022 Virtual Beef School, held on Monday, March 21st, Dr. Justin Kiefer, clinical veterinarian for the Department of Animal Sciences at OSU, offered a beef herd health management update. As Dr. Kiefer began his presentation, here, briefly, are the five core vaccines he believes every Ohio beef cow should be receiving. Uh, what do we think of as the core vaccines for, back, uh, for beef cattle? What are the antigens, specifically the bacterial or viral antigens that we want uh, to give our cattle? Uh, what are the most important? Uh, the first one, and we'll, we'll talk about these individually in the slides, is IBR, infectious bovine rhinotracheitis. Historically, a big issue in cattle. Um, since the advent of vaccination for this back in the 70s, not as big a deal, uh, but it's still out there. Um, and in any of these bugs, uh, you should always, always keep in the back of your mind, if we don't see any clinical disease, if we're not treating pneumonias in our calves and cows, uh, that does not mean it isn't there. It means that your vaccines are working um, and that your nutrition is good, as your management's good. And, but sometimes that's gonna come up and bite you no matter what you do and having this protection there is a really good idea. So um, just I go off on a tangent there, but I wanted to explain that about IBR. Uh, parainfluenza virus, not a huge uh, individual um, problem on its own. Parainfluenza virus is a really big issue for setting up secondary bacterial infections like uh, infectious bovine rhinotracheitis and, and uh, BRSV. Um, this, the third one, uh, BVD, bovine virus diarrhea, still a big issue in the beef business. We still see lots of persistently infected calves, and we'll talk about those and the impact on immune suppression and feedlots, um, and also has a big impact on reproduction uh, for mature cows. Uh, bovine respiratory syncytial virus, um, still out there. Um, as a former dairy practitioner, I was in private dairy practice for six and a half years. I fought BRSV a lot, and I've seen it on feedlots as well. Um, we actually had it on our campus dairy here not too long ago uh, due to a biosecurity break. Um, even though we're really well vaccinated, we still lost a few cows out of that uh, outbreak. So it's BRSV is uh, a notorious uh, uh, viral pneumonia illness in, in cattle and um, cause, still causes lots of damage. So and I'll give you my, my thoughts on how we protect against that. Um, and then in terms of the Clostridial vaccines, we think of as core, that would be Clostridium uh, perfringens type B, C, and D. So three different types of perfringens that we worry about. Um, Clostridium shovii, novii, septicum, and sordelli. And we'll talk about those individual um, antigens when we get down to the clostridial part. But those are um, the bugs that I think that every cow and calf should be vaccinated for. And then we can talk at the end about ancillary or um, risk-based vaccines, whether we need to use them or not, and what we use in our herds um, as addendums. Um, but these are what I think that every bovine animal should get some at some point in their lifetime, hopefully multiple times in their lifetime.